Welcome to my Little Yellow Bookshop, and today I am doing a really cool thing. Today I am showing you guys some really cool things you could do to make your bedroom more Christmassy and get it ready for the Christmas Booktubeathon. This isn't a regular bedroom hipster makeover from Tumblr. This is a book hipster makeover. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Basically, I'm just going to show you guys some really simple things you could do to your room to make it more comfy and more readable because we know that Canadian winters, maybe other places too, we, we don't want to go outside. We want to stay inside as much as possible and curl up with a nice hot cocoa and a nice comfortable area. And we want to do it in a tumblery, tumblery thing, space, tumblery space. And how can we do that? We can DIY the heck out of our lives. So there's a bunch of cool things. There's some things that you can buy, some things you can make, some things you can use that you already have to make your room cute and comfy and readable. Is that even a thing? I don't know. But I really like what I did with my room, so I think it looks super duper cute and comfy, and I would spend the rest of my life in this bed even more than I already do. As you can tell from the title of this video, you have a Christmas giveaway for you guys, because you guys are awesome, because I'm almost to 4,000 subscribers. So you guys deserve something freaking awesome for Christmas. Well, one of you. I wish I could give all of you guys something for Christmas because you're amazing. If you want to find out more about that giveaway and how you can win these awesome, cool things, plural things, then make sure you stay till the end of this video so I'll let you know the beats. So I'm gonna stop talking now and just get into this video. <laughs> nice to meet you where you been. I can show you incredible. So I like to start by changing up my blankets and a little bit of my bed. And I'm throwing this little red blanket on and then another one with little reindeers on it that's actually so cute and crispy. And I like to put on new pillows like this plaid one which is actually super easy to make. All you need is a flannel shirt. You just can reuse the shirt also because you're not gluing or cutting or anything. You're actually just going to put the pillow inside the shirt and then fold the shirt around the pillow. Um, this is really weird but it's kind of easy and it's for lazy people. And you just fold it up like this and then tuck in the sides and flip it over and then sort of just fluff it out a little bit. Try to make it look pretty. They'll tell you I'm insane Cause you know you love the players And voila, there's your pillow. We'll take this way too far. So next I'm putting up some Christmas lights because Christmas lights are just Christmas lights. You know, you have to have them. And I'm just close pinning my pictures that I already had on this twine thing to the lights. And it looks so cute that I'm going to keep it even after Christmas. And then I had this idea, so I used scotch tape to stick these vinyls on my wall. And one is broken because one dropped, so be careful but it just looked really Tumblr. Next is some really cute things you can do to make your desk more comfy and more fun to work at, especially if you want to stay organized for the Booktubeathon, and if you're doing a whole bunch of writing over the Christmas holidays, or just any kind of work. Maybe you have homework, I don't know. I, I, I don't know life. I wanna hear that you is Always around me. Only love, only love, darling. I feel you under my body. 
And now I'm putting some like magazines and CDs and things and a candle all Christmassy on my desk to give me some inspiration. Next I'm going to show you how to make this little mason jar quote thing and basically you just have a mason jar, some clothes pins and some pieces of paper and a pen obviously. Stick the pieces of paper inside of the jar and maybe some sticky notes too. And you can write on the clothes pins. I'm writing Katniss's name on this one. I'm putting book characters mostly on mine, a few quotes, just because book characters are the things that inspire me the most. On this one I wrote it, read it for PETA, and I'm putting all the clothespins on the lid of the jar. Now I'm taking out a piece of paper, writing my quote down, or something that inspired me to keep reading, and pinning it onto my little light. And that's my desk, with all my little booky stuff in there. How do I know if I love you when I show sort of bookish Christmas DIY room decor stuff that I still have to work the name out because that doesn't that doesn't really make sense. Anyway, you guys are still here because you guys want to know about this beautiful giveaway that I'm giving to you guys because you guys are freaking amazing. Here it is. So this giveaway is for YouTube. So basically they're gonna be two winners. And before I start showing you guys these items, this giveaway is international. So anybody, if you live in the North Pole, you can get these prizes. One lucky winner is going to receive a signed copy of Ignite Me by Tata Maffey. <laughs> Beautiful signature right here. Oh my lord. If you guys haven't heard me blab about it enough, I got to meet Tehede and Veronica Roth. What? What? And I got this signed just for you guys. And I didn't get it personalized because my intention was for you beautiful people to receive one of these books. Along with this book, you'll also receive a poster. It's a Divergent poster. Um, this one is not signed, unfortunately. So if you are winner of prize number one, you're gonna get two of these beautiful thingies right here. Prize number two, G get ready. Get pumped. It's a signed poster by Tehede and Veronica Roth. What? What? Look at their signatures. They're right there and they're beautiful. This is Tehede's. Tehede. And that's Veronica Roth. Oh my gosh. What even? What even? So if you want this beautiful poster with Shatter Me quotes all over it and Veronica Roth's signature on a Shatter Me poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's only part of it, okay? You also receive one of these lovely Divergent posters that is not signed. Okay, not that exciting. And you also receive not this exact pair, but another pair, different color, of these beautiful, cute, frilly socks from Aeropostale. It's not this color. I have to get a different color. This is too... No, this one's for me. I like black. You guys will get a different color. Okay, okay? Recap, if you're winning the second prize, you win these posters. One of them is signed, and the other is a socks. Beautiful, beautiful, done. These are the things you gotta do if you want a chance to win one of these prizes. First, most important thing, you have to be subscribed to me, to my channel, Lil Yellow Bookshop, because this giveaway is for my beautiful and lovely subscribers who I adore and you guys are blessed children. I love you. So if you're not subscribed to me, sorry, you're disqualified. 
Next, you have to follow me on both my Instagrams. You have to follow me on Andrea Klobuchar and you have to follow me on Little Yellow Bookshop Instagram. Don't worry, all these links will be down below. The next thing you gotta do is follow me on my Twitter, which is Lil Yellow Books, which I will also link down below. You also have to follow my Tumblr, Yellow Neon Socks. Then, the last thing that you have to do is comment all your usernames and things that you followed with, that you followed me or subscribed to me with down below in the comments of this video. Then, when I choose a winner, I'll have to check every single thing to make sure that they did it so that they're not disqualified. It is international, so get on that. If you want extra chances to win one of these prizes, you gotta go join my Little Book Hipsters Goodreads group, which I'll also link down below, and there may be some secrets being revealed in that group, so if you're a book hipster and you tweet me the hashtag book hipster and I add you to my Twitter list, you, you may have another chance to win. Just saying. Just saying. But I saw Mockingjay just a, just, just a tad emotionally unstable. Um, quick review here. Um, it was freaking amazing. I move through town. I'm quiet like a fire. And my necklace is a rope. I tie it and untie it. So that's all for today, guys. I'm Andrea, and I will see you guys later. Bye. So let's just get this over with. I've never read or watched Harry Potter. <sighs> I got that out of my system.